how can you eat dal rice and still have a low glucose spike? I have a continuous glucose monitor and let's find out. I received a big glucose spike when I had dal rice and one day old dal rice. And my challenge is that I want to find natural ways to not have a glucose response when I have dal and rice. So today I'm going to have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar mixed with water. Then I will have 150 grams of salad followed by same 250 grams of white rice and 350 grams of dal. And after eating, I'm gonna go for a 10 minute walk. Let's see if doing these things gives me a lower glucose response when I have my favorite dal and rice. It's been 10 minutes, let's have the salad now. Time for a 10 minute walk. Because I had salad and water before dal rice, it was really difficult for me to finish the whole dal rice. So having water and salad before eating can be a great way to lower your appetite. This is great to see. The glucose increase is 15% lower at 39 mg. And just normal dal rice, the glucose didn't come back all the way down until four and a half hours later. But this kept coming back down again and again when I added natural methods. It came down at two hours and 30 minutes, then at four hours, and then again and again. This is because of the fiber that keeps bringing the glucose back down again and again. I didn't even feel sleepy this time, which I did before. If you zoom in at the start, you'll notice that the glucose was going to increase, but because I started walking, it flattened out. And then when I came back home and rested, then it started to increase again. So post meal walk can be great to suppress your blood glucose response. Finally, the acetic acid in the apple cider vinegar also prevents from glucose increasing. These are some very simple tips that you can incorporate into your lives to prevent your glucose from increasing. See you tomorrow.